Attention pro wrestling and music fans alike, welcome to the Control Center. I'm your host, Mike Pettingill, and today we have got a treat in store for you. We're going to dig deep into the annals of sports entertainment, and we're going to break down the main event match of every WrestleMania card in history. Now, this isn't going to be your average review because today in the Control Center, we have a very special guest. Joining us live via satellite, the other half of That's a Good Idea, my bandmate, Ginger Kazero Zero Key. Ginger, welcome to the show. Now, fans, I want to take you back. If you didn't join us for our live coverage of the title tournament in Rio de Janeiro, you may not know that Ginger was an innocent bystander at ringside when he was maliciously assaulted with a steel chair. He suffered neck and throat injuries, and he will be out of speaking condition for the next six to eight weeks. But we still wanted to provide you his brilliant color commentary and his wonderful insight, especially as we go over something as iconic as the Showcase of the Immortals. So today, as we break down the main event match of every WrestleMania card in history, Ginger will provide his feedback instrumentally on his guitar, the Chapman Ghost Fred. Ginger, are you ready? At WrestleMania 1, Hulk Hogan and Mr. T, who were accompanied by Jimmy Superfly Snuka, defeated Rowdy Roddy Piper and Paul Orndorff, who were accompanied by Cowboy Bob Orton. Muhammad Ali and Pat Patterson were the special guest referees. At WrestleMania 2, Hulk Hogan defeated King Kong Bundy in a steel cage match for the WWF World Heavyweight Championship. At WrestleMania 3, in front of a record crowd, Hulk Hogan body slammed and defeated Andre the Giant to retain the WWF World Heavyweight Championship. At WrestleMania 4, the Macho Man Randy Savage defeated the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase for the vacant WWF World Heavyweight Championship. At WrestleMania 5, the Mega Powers collided as Hulk Hogan defeated the Macho Man Randy Savage for the WWF World Heavyweight Championship. At WrestleMania 6, in the Ultimate Challenge, WWF Intercontinental Champion The Ultimate Warrior defeated Hulk Hogan for the WWF World Heavyweight Championship. At WrestleMania 7, Sergeant Slaughter lost the WWF World Heavyweight Championship to Hulk Hogan. At WrestleMania 8, Hulk Hogan defeated Sid Justice. At WrestleMania 9, Yokozuna defeated Bret Hart for the WWF World Heavyweight Championship and then lost it promptly to Hulk Hogan. At WrestleMania 10, Bret Hart regained the WWF World Heavyweight Championship by defeating Yokozuna. At WrestleMania 11, Bam Bam Bigelow lost to NFL retiree Lawrence Taylor. At WrestleMania 12, Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels wrestled in the first ever 60-minute Ironman match for the WWF World Heavyweight Championship. In overtime, HBK realized the boyhood dream by winning the title. At WrestleMania 13, The Undertaker main evented his first WrestleMania by defeating Psycho Sid for the WWF World Heavyweight Championship. At WrestleMania 14, the Attitude Era began as Stone Cold Steve Austin won his first WWF Heavyweight Championship by defeating Shawn Michaels with Iron Mike Tyson as the special guest referee. 
at WrestleMania 15, The Rock lost to Stone Cold Steve Austin with the WWF title on the line and Mick Foley as special guest referee. At WrestleMania 2000, Triple H retained his WWF title against The Rock, Big Show, and Mick Foley in a fatal four-way. At WrestleMania X7, The Rock once again lost to Stone Cold Steve Austin for the WWF World Heavyweight Championship, this time in a no disqualification match. At WrestleMania 18, Triple H defeated the first ever undisputed WWF champion, Chris Jericho, for the title. At WrestleMania 19, Brock Lesnar defeated Kurt Angle for the WWE Championship. At WrestleMania 20, Chris Benoit defeated Triple H and Shawn Michaels in a triple threat match for the World Heavyweight Championship. At WrestleMania 21, Batista defeated Triple H for the World Heavyweight Championship. At WrestleMania 22, John Cena defeated Triple H to retain the WWE Championship. At WrestleMania 23, John Cena defeated Shawn Michaels to retain the WWE Championship. At WrestleMania 24, The Undertaker defeated Edge to regain the World Heavyweight Championship. At WrestleMania 25, Triple H defeated Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. At WrestleMania 26, The Undertaker ended the career of Shawn Michaels in a no disqualification streak versus career match. At WrestleMania 27, The Miz defeated John Cena for the WWE Championship. At WrestleMania 28, The Rock defeated John Cena in a match billed as once in a lifetime. Ironically, at WrestleMania 29, The Rock lost to John Cena for the WWE Championship. At WrestleMania 30, Daniel Bryan turned the show into Yeslemania by defeating Randy Orton and Batista in a triple threat match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. At WrestleMania 31, Seth Rollins cashed in Money in the Bank during the Brock Lesnar vs. Roman Reigns match to win the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. At WrestleMania 32, Roman Reigns regained the WWE World Heavyweight Championship by defeating Triple H. And at WrestleMania 33, last year Roman Reigns defeated The Undertaker in what appeared to be a retirement match for the Deadman.